Okay, I just want to run through how to check the condenser for your uh, lawnmower engine or any kind of engine like that. Okay, first of all, a condenser is actually a capacitor. And what that means is, is that this stores energy, stores a charge. And first of all, you need to be safe because if, if this is charged up and you were to touch here and here, short it out, with yourself, when you put your finger between that, you could actually kill yourself. Or there could be enough charge build up in it to do that. So you always would want to take a screwdriver and discharge it and set the metal between the two before you ever touch this. So the way we test it is, is you turn on your, your, your meter and you go to your ohm. So this would be like how you would test resistance. And what we're going to do is we're going to touch one side of it here and then we're going to put the other pro on this. And what that's going to do is when it's doing resistance, it's actually trying to run current through the system. In this case, what we're doing is we're going to charge up the capacitor. As you can see, the number is going up, so it's starting to charge up. Now, you could use a needle, old school needle type, you would see it slowly move up. Okay, so at this point, see, we're charging up. Now we're going to take this off, and we're going to switch this to DC. Okay, now what we're going to do is see if there's a voltage on here still. Look, okay, we have a voltage, and let's see, you can see it's slowly draining down. So that means that this is holding a charge, okay? Let's see, we were at, say, 400, okay? Now, we'll let a second look back up here, it should be around 400 again. Whoops. Well, dang. Okay, we're not... Yeah, okay, there we are. 300, 200. So it's it's holding voltage. You stop. It's in the 200s. You see it's back in the 200s. Now, if you had a, like I say, a needle-type meter, what that would do, it would slowly start to come down. That's going to tell you now... If you had done this and there was no charge ever taken onto it, you know this is bad. Or if you had taken, after you charged it, if you take it off and you it instantly undischarged, you would know it's bad. So in this case, I believe this one's good. And I'm going to short it out there so that I don't touch myself and shock, shock myself when I uh, go to put it back in. So I know this is not bad. So I got to look for my problems someplace else.